back in the days, no, no one was playing in, in Spain. So he, I remember he took my mom, uh, he took a car, and they spent two, three months going to all the illegal raves in the north of Europe. Uh, they, went to, they went through France, Italy, chasing Logan Garnier when they were 18 years old, Carl Cox, Sven, in Germany, uh, begging them to come to Spain for the first time. And, and they didn't know, it's like, it's like, and my father used to lie to them, it's like, we have got a club in Barcelona, come to Barcelona and everything will be, will be fine. And my mom is always being next to, to my father. They, just so you know, they share one phone, so they do everything together, they travel together, they party together, they rave together. This is a quote, uh, an important quote from my, from my grandfather, and became a, a part of our DNA. At the end, it's still nowadays, when we do a lot of parties around the world, we always ask ourselves, did people have fun? And this is our secret. We never, like, even my father, when, I, when we travel now with a row and we go to, to North America, England, whatever, he never asked me, like, how much money you make or how many people it was. He always asked me, how good was the party? Did people have fun? And I think this is the, the main reason to, like, this is our, our main secret. We always try to stay close to the customer. We are always at every single show, listening to them, learning from them, because obviously the customers usually know more than you. So if you don't pay attention to, to them, you don't know what the future is going gonna, is gonna to bring. Um, keep authentic. This is one, like, this is, I think I learned this from my, especially from my father, like, we never try to copy anything from anyone. We try to find our own path, we try to create our own thing and we, have to, we try to bring fresh hair to, to, to the industry every time. This is how, this is the way, you know, like we, we have been surviving. And I think this is another, like this is really, really important. You know, at the end, if you are a promoter and you want to survive, you have to be creative, you have to innovate, you have to, you, you have to bring new things to, to the market, otherwise people get tired. Um, we are perfectionists, we try to do things really well. Obviously, we have mistakes like every single promoter, but it's like, it's, this is also like really, really important for us. And it's our, our magic formula, it's not like a formula, but my, this is like, especially from my father, he always told us from, like, from, from, like from many, many years, innovate, transgress, and surprise. Like this is key in our family. If you don't surprise people, especially young generations, you don't survive. A really important part, obviously, for me is the most important is the music. I would say it's 25% of the product. We always try to bring the, the most important DJs of the world, and music must be fun. You know, like the, the key thing here is the customer. The, the customer ha must have fun. And I think it's also really important, I would say, is decoration. We try to change the full, the, the full we, we try to bring sets from Barcelona, and we try to change the full de the decoration from every single club, warehouse, wherever we go. And I think this helps um, the customer to be part of the show, you know, like at the end, um, they are more, they, they feel surrounded by something special and they are more open to interact with the brand. And the most important one is the customer itself, you know, like the customer is the party, they are the show. And all the, all the other ones must work around the customer. The DJs, us, the performers, the toys, everything. But the, we don't have to forget that the customer is like, like is, the, is the key part here. Obviously, right now we have got a lot of offers from a lot of different promoters from all over the world. And what I can say is that we are really picky. We are trying to think uh, two times before deciding where to go. We don't go uh, because of the money. We, th we are thinking more in a long-term, you know, like long-term ship. Um, and to be honest, like our, our strategy in the future is obviously reaching out in new areas, but the, at the end what we want is like doing less shows uh, with better uh, quality. At the end, we want to reduce the, the amount of shows and trying to do it better, better, better every time.